How's it going everyone? This is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and with the recent reveal of the Saints Row Reboot's roadmap, a new secret ending has been found within the game. The method required to unlock it can be a bit complicated. In fact, it's the most complex collection of steps I've ever seen within the series. So why don't I take us through step by step on how to do it? Before you can begin, you'll need to download the front to back cosmetic pack. The vehicle from this DLC is required for one of the later steps, and it's believed the secret ending was hidden within the pack. Don't worry though, the DLC is free. Next, you'll need to be playing on a save where the story is complete and you've unlocked the Planet Saints Criminal Venture. With all that, we can now actually dive into the secret ending steps. First, head to the apartment in the Shady Oaks District and you'll find this box labeled Gat Knives on a bookshelf. You'll need to stand right in front of it and perform any taunt for 5 seconds. Once you've done that, go to wherever you place the Planet Saints and shoot each one of these, uh, Baby Saint murals. It should be kept in mind that the first four steps of the secret ending don't have any notifications. So you may want to play it on the safe side and perform each of these first few steps twice just in case. Anyway, you now need to wait one in-game day to perform the next step, but you can speed up the process by napping two times in the Saints HQ. It might be best to nap a third time just to make sure the 24 hours have passed. From this point, get a VTOL or armed helicopter and fly it to the Santo Aleso sign. You just need to fire an explosive weapon into each of the signs O's and the next step will be ready to perform. Next, roam the streets until you find a furry mascot and kill it. Actually, this isn't a required step, but you should always kill furries when you see them. I like to kill furries. Alright, for the next real step, open the garage and pull out the holly bird from the front to back cosmetic pack. Also, you'll finally know if you performed each step correctly up to this point if the vehicle's name is highlighted green. With the Holly Bird, call Nina and let her get inside. You now have to drive her to the Twin Coyote Arcade in the North Rojas Desert. Once you get there, Nina will gain this nasty toxic effect. You can now either call her a stinky ass hoe or she Nina. Anyway, head towards the back left of the store where the Saints of Rage arcade game is located. Shoot the screen five times and you should hear a cat meow sound effect. The last big step now is to go to the million dollar store and buy all six of the available items. Hopefully you'll have enough money on you or you will have earned enough in the time it's taken to perform all the previous steps. And lastly, go back to the Saints HQ and wait another in-game day. I would suggest napping again, but you need to be outside the HQ in order for the ending to properly trigger. But once the 24 hours have passed, head to the second floor of the HQ and watch the magic. <laughs> Hello, is someone here? Who messes with the Saints? You think you're the only Third Street Saints in the world? Playa, you've become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it yet. Who the hell are you? Julius Little, Director of Mayhem. Uh-huh. I'm here to talk to you about the Saints Initiative. My god, that was incredible! Not only do we have the OG Julius back, but now he has ties with the Agents of Mayhem? Man, I can't believe it! They did it! Saints Row is saved! I can't wait to play LARPers of Border Row Mayhem Colonial Saints forever! <laughs> well everyone, that's the new secret ending in the Saints Row reboot. I don't think this was something any of us were expecting, but what can you expect from this series these days? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or concerns performing these steps, please feel free to leave a comment below. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.